Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. A lot of new investors are getting hooked by the idea that a person can build their own wealth through the stock market. While this is true, there are still some people who venture into stocks without completely knowing how it works. If you choose the path of just blindly investing, you will end up losing money or all of your money. But if you're willing to learn and want to be successful at it, you will find financial security in the stock market. The stock market is easy to navigate if you know what you're doing and know what you're looking for. And this is easy for day traders to do who are trading stocks consistently every single day. For beginners who are just starting out, here are five major things you should always keep in mind when investing in the stocks. Number one, only invest what you are willing to lose. Although it seems like most stocks seem to be going up, no one can say where it will go. Even the best traders and investors in the stock market can't tell exactly the closing price of the stock at the end of the day. This means that there's always risk in the stock market. When there is risk, there is a chance that you will lose money. This is why you will always hear traders and investors say that you only invest what you are willing to lose. Regardless of the amount, make sure that you don't depend on the money that you're investing in. Some beginners question if they should take out a loan and invest them in the stock market. This is not recommended if you're just starting out. Again, anything can happen in the stock market. You may lose a big percentage of your investment just overnight if anything happens. And if you lose big, you're gonna have a tough time trying to climb out of the hole when you have no money to begin with. You might also think about putting your emergency funds in the stock market for growth. This is another mistake that new investors make. The money you invest in the stock market should only be the amount that you're willing to sacrifice. What if you lose your investment all at once? Where can you find a replacement for your emergency money? Again, invest what you can afford to lose. Number two, technical analysis is your friend. Technical analysis is basically analyzing statistical trends using historical data, and it's used by many investors and day traders. If you don't know how to read charts, it's a good idea to start now. I do have a simplified version on reading charts on Webull, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Video link is down below. Charts are not difficult to understand once you take an hour or so to learn it. Some of the basics you will know just by looking at the charts are the uptrends and downtrends. There is an uptrend when the price of the stock keeps moving up, and there's a downtrend when the price of the stock keeps moving down. The concept behind these movements is based on the law of supply and demand. In a downward trend, more people are willing to sell than to buy the stocks. And from there, you'll find out that there is a lot of technical indicators you can use to semi-predict a stock's movement. And some indicators could be your moving average, MACD, or RSI. I don't want to overwhelm you with a bunch of these names or acronyms since there's a lot you can use to help you out. But remember that these indicators cannot actually predict the future of the stock. All these indicators are doing is using historical data to kind of predict it so you can kind of get a sense of where this stock price is moving. Hope that kind of makes sense. Number three, understanding the fundamentals of the stocks so you can win big. Technical analysis is usually paired with the fundamentals of the stock. This is where you try to understand the company as a whole, the balance sheet, the income statements, future plans, company acquisitions, or expansion plans. Instead of reading the charts, you will read the figures earned by the company you are buying. It's easy to use fundamentals as well. If the company is doing great in terms of revenue and earnings, it will likely to grow more when there is good news about the acquisition, agreement with other companies, or future expansion plans. The stocks will go up from the moment the news is posted until the investors or traders reach their desired profit and start selling their investments. What's good about using fundamentals is that it is suitable for long-term stock investors. You can find a company or companies that you believe it will grow in the long run, buy their stock, and forget about them for years. This way, you don't have to be constantly trading the same stock and you will reap the tax benefits for becoming a long-term investor. Number four, take profits and set stop losses. This is mostly for new investors who want to day trade. So if you are day trading and you made enough money for the day, then simply take your profits. Oh, by the way, if you're day trading, you shouldn't be emotionally connected to the stock. If you want your profits to be at 10% or 15% gain, then once it hits that mark, you should just take profits and don't be greedy. And you can easily set limits as to when you wanna sell at a profit. On the flip side, if you're day trading, it's a good idea to set a stop loss to prevent yourself from losing more money. By doing this, you've now removed your emotions out of it. This way you prevent yourself from talking yourself out of it, from selling and saying things like, 
oh, if I just wait a couple of days, it'll go back to that price. And no, it's unlikely to happen if you're day trading. So to cut it short, just remember to put stop loss when you're day trading so it'll prevent you from losing more money. And number five, don't put all your eggs in one basket. The stock market is a huge collection of diverse companies and industries. There are stocks under technology, energy, healthcare, and many more. The old proverb, don't put all your eggs in one basket is effective all the time. You don't use all your money to buy just one company. Instead, use it to buy stocks across different industries. It's called diversification, which you can greatly benefit if you have a dozen of companies and if you have one bad company in your portfolio, it won't hurt as much as the only having one company that is constantly making you lose. If you want to diversify, consider looking into exchange traded funds or ETFs to start out. They are basically a collection of various investment all in one stock for you to trade. And yes, they can trade like any other stocks and the beauty of it is that it is diversified. So overall, I hope you find these five pointers to be helpful for beginners. And if you don't know where to start in terms of how to open a brokerage account and start in trading, I can even help you get started. One of the brokerages that I use for trading is Weevil. I show you how to sign up with them and use the app all for free. And if you do sign up with them and deposit your first $100 with them, you'll get some free stocks just by getting started. Currently for the promotion, they're giving away four free stocks and this probably won't last long. Links are in the description if you want to check them out. But anyway, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more weekly uploads. And I'll catch you all next week.